hello hello cancers welcome back welcome back everybody welcome to queen cancer tarot channel i am the host my name is Catherine. i'm here to bring you clarity guidance and love messages i hope everybody is safe happy and doing well today make sure that if you guys are new to the channel you are subscribed because i do do a giveaway every month i give away tarot cards oracle cards crystals jewelry and free readings also cancers make sure you are subscribed to my new channel tarot talk live the link is in the description box below please go over to that channel check out the first video so that you can see everything that that channel is going to entail and what the subject matter is going to be Speaking of subject matter, there is a vote and a poll. I want you guys to participate in the vote, even though we are going forward with the selection on what we will be discussing in the first week. If there are any um, suggestions or topics that you guys would like to discuss on this channel, make sure you send me an email and let me know your thoughts. I will be reading those and taking all of them into consideration. So make sure you check that out right away. Okay, I love you guys. Let's go ahead and get started with the message. All right, so um, cancers, and this is for all intents and purposes, um, part two, we were going to go um, into an extended, but I want to look at the energy on the other person's side, Cancer, because I really want to get a close look. This is a you versus them. So let's look at the other person's energy. I'm getting some, some strangish vibes, like almost like teacher student vibe ish energy. Um, I feel like an energy of somebody who is, um, they know that they they were wrong cancer but this person i feel like they haven't really um admitted it yet they just i feel like they know that they were wrong they're feeling guilty about what they did and they're not coming towards you or around you cancer i feel like they may even be scared not really sure what you're going to do king of wands with the seven of cups like this energy this king of wands is like they're not sure what you're going to do with that information that you have. Okay, because you've got some information on them. But let's go ahead and see. Tell us about cancer, please. And again, like I said, it could be a teacher, student type situation here or a mentor, mentee. Someone that you should be looking up to. However, I feel like there was something else where this person attempted and was out of line, Cancer. I just feel like it was an attempt. Tell me about Cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angels and guides. I wish I could take back my words. I love you unconditionally. Yeah, somebody's feeling guilty. And very sorry about what they did here. Tell me about cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell me about cancer, please. And maybe this person didn't physically do anything. It's like they said they wanted to do something with you that was inappropriate. I want to tell you how I feel. And I wish I could share my good news with you. So there's an energy of this person really wants to talk to you. Um, but they know that it that they can't. They know they've messed up so bad, Cancer, that you don't even want to hear their voice. So they stay away. Tell me about Cancer, please. Holy Spirit. I told you there's an energy of this person is just afraid to come forward. And I have I am grateful for the spiritual lesson and I feel you even though we are apart. So there's an energy of this person has um, done some spiritual work, Cancer, behind the scenes. They know that what they did was wrong in the connection. And now they want you, they want to make things up to you. Finding out the truth crushed me under the deck, but sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. I told you that with that nine of swords. This person is up at night thinking about you, Cancer. Finding out the truth crushed me. This is what this person is trying to get through to you. I replay our conversations over and over. 
Cancer, this person is in that mode of, you know, constantly thinking about, you know, where, where you are, what you're doing, you know, if you're not going to forgive them, it must mean you've moved on to someone else, just constantly in the energy of second guessing themselves. And let's go ahead and clarify. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell me about cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell me about cancer. What does cancer need to know to you? Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell me about cancer. And we have the devil and the three of swords, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, energy. Like I said, somebody is afraid. They know they betrayed someone. They know that they hurt someone, Cancer, or they caused some trauma. And this person is now in fear. They're now afraid to reach out because of this. Tell me about Cancer, please. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. Tell me about Cancer. And we have the Justice card, Libra energy, and Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Again, this person is now coming to terms with what they've done and now they want to apologize that justice card talks about karma and consequences and this person is now wanting to make amends cancer there's an energy too that there could be something this person is going through that could be final and they want to fix things with i want to tell you how i feel they really want to come in to let you know that they're sorry or that they are have changed they are coming in letting you know that they're honest cancer and that they have healed underneath the deck oh we're not going there tell me about cancer please Holy okay and we can go there in just one second so we have oh wow we have the eight of pentacles in the reverse cancer and the eight of wands in the reverse taurus virgo capricorn Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Interesting enough here. And underneath the deck, we have the five of, of pentacles, Cancer. The four of swords, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And judgment. <laughs> what did I tell you, Cancer? So it's like this person is coming to terms with something or what they did here. Five of Pentacles here with the Four of Swords. There's an energy of, you know, Cancer, you're not speaking to this person. Um, I feel like Cancer, when this person did whatever it was that they did, like you left and you did not go back. Five of Pentacles, Four of Swords. This talks about someone who has abandoned the connection. That Three of Swords is like right above them. It's just over them, Cancer. So it's like they're still looking or still can see or feel the betrayal. But they are trying to heal from this, Cancer. With the Judgment card here, this is an energy, again, of this person reflecting back and dealing with whatever it was that happened and not wanting it to ever happen again. So let's clarify the clarification. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell me about the devil and the three of swords. Holy Spirit, angels, and guides, tell me about the devil and the three of swords. And we have the hermit cancer. Like I said, you are backing back now. This person really, really pulled a number on you. They hurt you. There's an energy of looking back in the past, looking back at all the things this person has done. Okay, Cancer, and underneath the deck with the Three of Wands here, this is an energy of wanting to get out of the connection. Once you've thought about this and thought about this, there's an energy of not wanting to come back. Tell me about Justice and Temperance, please. And the Three of Cups, Cancer. You would more, you would more, more rather hang out with friends, okay, than forgive this person and start this connection over again. Look at this, six of pentacles underneath the deck. This is all very one-sided here, Cancer. There's an energy of, you know, you, you're the only one that wants to be friends. This person wants something more. 
Tell me about Eight of Pentacles in the reverse and the Eight of Wands in the reverse. Cancer, Eight of Cups, all these eights. This talks about you focusing on yourself. You're walking away from this person. With the Eight of Cups, I mean, I'm sorry. With the Eight of Pentacles here in the reverse, Cancer, this is you not getting your needs met. And with that Eight of Wands in the reverse, Cancer, this is just utter frustration. Like, things have really been delayed. They were going very very quickly or moving very quickly and like all of a sudden it's like nothing crickets and under the deck six of cups cancer so there's an energy of someone is walking out on the connection and looking to reconcile with um an ex or someone from their past tell me about this five of pentacles please and the nine of pentacles cancer pre-empress energy it's like this person walked out and you know wanted to be single again eight of wands underneath the deck cancer eight of wands under the deck this talks about fast moving speed taking quick action tell me about the four of swords please it's like this person just needs to have a break they need to have a break before they start dating again Nine of Wands, see, this is somebody who's been around for a long time. And with that world under the deck, this is a cycle that is closing of a long relationship, Cancer. Tell me about the Judgment card, please. This is why it's so difficult here. Eight of Swords, Cancer. It's like you didn't see this coming, but this is final with that Judgment card. Like you are really starting to face the fact or your person is starting to face the fact that this connection is not coming back. Seven of Wands under the deck. This person is, you know, they're pushing away from the connection, okay? And this person has the energy or need or the drive to fight back cancer. They are very passionate about this and they do not want this connection to end. So let's go ahead and take it into a true extended, you guys. We'll look at challenges, things that you can't see coming towards you, the advice, the outcome here, and uh, we'll take it from there, Cancer. I wanted to see if I was getting more teacher-student vibes. I mean, with that Six of Pentacles, um, definitely an energy of someone who has got some sort of a pull or something where they're over someone cancer whether it's financial or whatever the case may be um eight of cups six of cups yes energy of someone thinking about their childhood you could be thinking about um where you went to school this could be regarding a teacher once again six of cups energy this is childhood memories and with that eight of cups this is very emotionally overwhelming so this could be something that happened cancer when you were a child when you were in school and, you know, someone was inappropriate or inappropriately took advantage of their position of authority here, Cancer. And I feel like there's an energy of you are now standing your ground. Seven of Wands, you're fighting back, Cancer. I feel like you were you were blocked or from this with the judgment card here. And the Eight of Swords, it's like someone tried to keep you from, you know, bringing things to the forefront here. They didn't want you to bring this up or talk about this. This is something that happened in the past. Okay. Um, but Cancer, you're ready for this to come out. With that Hermit card and the Three of Wands, this is you. This is you. This person is afraid of the truth coming out. They're afraid of this, Cancer, because they know about the trauma that they caused you. But with that seven of wands, Cancer, you're standing your ground here. You're protecting yourself. Um, this truth is going to come out. We're going to look at some Oracle in the extended. We'll look at challenges, um, things that are coming towards you that you are don't see coming, Cancer. Will this person pay for what they did? All right, let's find out more about that. In the extended, the final outcome, and we will look at some Oracle as well. I love you guys, and I'll see you there in just a minute. Bye.